Okay. So. We are off to find Camilla and Lucan Valerius. I suppose talking to them first would be the, the thing to do. Oh, excuse me, chicken. Yes, yes. Here we go. The Riverwood Trader. Hmm. You know, I'd like to talk to Camilla. She seems to be very fond of me. Even though the other has. You have to call. Oh, you have to tell Lucan at once. Hurry. I wanted to tell you first. Hurry up and tell You're Lucan the one. You have to call. You were the one that was so most uh, helpful. I mean, she was much more helpful than this guy, and showing Show me the way to go. Thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Okay, well the here. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. I have the claw. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll. I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. <clears throat> well. It means so much to us to have the claw. He put it where it belongs, belongs, and he just by by that. Thank you so much. For it just lays on his thieves. counter like that. The river the thing is a lot bigger the way it used to be. than I would imagine. He he said it's a lot smaller, but look at that the thing. The only people around who aren't complete fools. Well. I've earned favor with these people, obviously, and now Riverwood Trader is everything you need. <laughs> now everything in here looks like it's uh, practically free. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Hmm. I'm sure Camilla would be of much assistance to me. Hmm. I'll take that. If it's not stealing in broad daylight, I'll take it. This. Oh, these these cheese wheels are yummy looking, aren't they? Looks like, like uh, maybe like gorgonzola or blue cheese or something. Yummy, yummy. Eh, what's in here? You know, I would like a refreshing apple after that battle with the Dunmer. And that is stealing, apparently. Well, maybe you're looking for something particular. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'm going to take whatever I want, apparently. Take some of that garlic. Don't mind me. I'm just taking your coin purse and all your valuables. I'll probably take your sister. It's a fine day with you around. I've taken over this town. It is mine. <laughs> well, we'll take some of those. Not from around here. We got next two of us. Well, yeah, she tends to say the same Carry things, but you could she does seem fond of me, though. Well, Lucan Valerius. I know some of it looks like. I will uh, go over here and talk to him. <laughs> the right I think if I stand too close to both of them, that's all they'll do is just jibber jabber at me. Yes. Let's sell some things here. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Oh, excellent. Um, well, first off, let's see what he has. Um, I'll take all the arrows he has for sure. I could definitely use arrows. Um, hmm. As far as everything else, it really doesn't do me much good there. Minor archery. Ooh, that's practically. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's really nice, fifteen percent, but it's way beyond my budget. Let's just say that. Well, let's see what he's got. Oof, that would be a nice potion to have, but uh, it's pretty pricey. That's a nice one. 
expensive though. Okay, books. Well, I'm gonna kind of leave the um, spell tones. I think, at least at this moment, to just things that I um, things that I find. I found one, a couple already, I believe. So, anything here that will do. Anything for me at all? No. Okay. All right. So let's see. He has 846 gold. Let's see what we can sell him. We don't. We certainly don't need both hunting bows. So, in fact, uh, I would go as far as to say I don't really need to carry any of these bows. I have a good bow, and it does more damage than them. Um. that. That's a better dagger probably than these daggers. Well, they're a little heavier, isn't it? Mm. That'll light my load a bit. Is there anything else there that I don't need? How about apparel? Or apparel. Ah, it's my last name. <laughs> um that's fancy. Let's sell that. I'm carrying around this this armor. This was my like summer armor though. I kinda wanna I kinda wanna kinda hold that. That's my you know, warmer weather armor. And the the boots I'm wearing are, I think I'll care. I'll keep those. I'll sell sell this hide stuff, except for the shield. And we never have sold the extra helmet we have, so I'll sell that. I know this is worth a lot. I want to break it down. I think and do like an enchantment thing where you uh, take the major destruction off of it, the, that quality and learn that, encha that enchantment um, rather than sell it. Um, as far as this armor, I think I'd sell that to uh, a friend across the street. Uh, and potions. Uh, probably keep all the stuff. This glibness one I haven't used. That's nice for a speech craft, I suppose. And we'll keep all these potions. And scrolls. Well, we keep all this as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep that as well. I haven't tasted all these yet. Uh -huh. I have a feeling that's going to be strange to learn the uh, ingredients, capabilities of these. A human heart and a human flesh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty nasty. For now, I want to keep the books. I, I hope to have like a place I can store these. I'd like to have a copy of those. I think that would be fun. I don't think I really need these gemstones. Um, yeah, let's just sell those. Turn those into gold. Yep, we're done. Mm. something goodbye well it's hard to imagine that uh, the blacksmith didn't come to my aid when I ran through the street with a Dunmer chasing me this guy is a, a large Nord he had a sword in his hand <laughs> all he was doing is he was sitting down with the sword in his hand and saw me run by and didn't lend a hand at all but you know what Whatever you need. I won't hold it against him too much. If it's simple and strong. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, well, let's see what things he has that we might be able to use. Sometimes, uh, I, I want to say, sometimes 
uh, NPCs, uh, non-player characters, shopkeepers, whatever you want to call them, will have new items in them the, the second time you, you visit them, third time you visit them, and so forth, you know, uh, especially as you level, and especially as time goes on, like each day cycle, when you wake up the next day and go out and about and come back to town, they may have new items, so it's it's worth checking out. This one's kind of nice, it has a resist magic effect on it. You know, I'm going to buy all those arrows, for sure. Um, that may use up a lot of my gold, but I use a lot of arrows. <laughs> so, the more the merrier. Um, now these, I, I'm wondering now, I think I passed over this stuff last time, but maybe I should... I don't know. Part of me is like, you know, I'll find stuff along the way and I use what I get, you know, from what I discover along the roads. I'll definitely buy all these arrows, though. That dagger's got... Ooh, look at that sword. Wow. That's a neat one there. I do like the orcish weapons in this game. They have a really cool look to them, especially like this mace. I think this is absolutely wicked looking. I remember in Dungeons and Dragons, you know, Mace is like, oh, because it's a blunt weapon. Um, you can call Mace's blunt, but there is not one bit of bluntness to that. It's all jagged edges and sharp and spiky. You think about traditional classes and RPGs and MMOs and video games and pencil and paper games and such, and how everyone gets an idea of how the weapon should look and what classes should use those weapons and why and the more reasons behind why they would use those you know like thieves can only use you know like rogues and thieves can only use light weapons you know it's like well can't anyone use any weapon technically as long as they train and get good with that weapon and even if they don't have any training with it they certainly can use it to some capabilities as long as they have some basic understanding of how to pick up something and grip it and swing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> with all their might. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, certainly, you know, there's there's levels to weapon proficiency, but being pigeonholed to only be able to use certain kind of weapons for a class seems kind of silly. Like, if I'm a cleric and I, I want to use a bow, why shouldn't I be allowed to use a bow? Or a battle axe. Hmm, that's a nice one. Scorching damage on a dagger. Well, you know, uh, I've been having fun doing business with this fellow. I've gotten a few nice items here, but uh, I think it's time to uh, sell him some things, huh? Well, we'll start with weapons. Nothing there. Let's try... Oh. By the way, how are we doing on that? We have 27 steel arrows, 19 orcish arrows, 62 iron arrows, 14 ancient Nord arrows. So let's uh, let's remember to put the iron arrows back as our favorite arrows. I think equipped arrows. I still want to keep this because, like, I think I'm actually going to switch into this armor here shortly. Oh, I definitely want to sell him this stuff. I think he'd really enjoy this stuff. He's like, oh, wow, look at that Nordic armor, heavy armor. I mean, this kind of guy that would probably love to have that in his shop. Uh, and, you know, I think this might still come in handy to some degree, having that. It just feels to me like, as far as role-playing purposes, that's kind of like a disguise. I wouldn't mind being seen on the roads by some Imperials while I'm wearing that and see what happens. See what kind of gruff uh, flack I get from them. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. Oh, wait a second now. You know, I'm thinking about this appar apparel. <laughs> apparel. Um, I'm wearing this now, and this isn't as good, is it? Oh, no, it is. It's equally as good. It says 36, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, never mind. 